Hey guys, it's Kay. Today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu 19.10 on your Raspberry Pi 4. Pi 4 support has been added recently and it runs pretty good. My Raspberry Pi 4 is running straight out of the box without any cooler or any box and I've yet to overclock it and you'll see it all ran very smoothly without any bottlenecks. Now there's a few desktops you can install and I'm going to be showing you how to install the X Ubuntu desktop. It's quite a lean desktop and it performs very well on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now I do know you guys are interested in gaming on this platform and I can confirm that the games I tried ran very smoothly and without any hiccups. You can try them all for yourself because I'm going to show you how to install apps and games and it's all done by a canonical Snapcraft application. So the Snap Store has applications listed into separate categories. This helps when you just want to browse applications based on the type. Currently the categories on the Snap Store include developers, Games, Social Networking, Productivity, Utilities, Graphics and Server. And they're adding more categories every day. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu onto your Raspberry Pi 4. And then I'm going to show you how to install the App Store, Snapcraft. So first you need to go to the Ubuntu website and download yourself a copy of the Ubuntu server for Pi. Now I opted for the 32-bit version as I found it ran a bit more smoother, but you can download the 64-bit version if you like. Next, you need to flash the image of the Ubuntu server onto an SD card. Now I've used a piece of software called Etcher. I've left links in the description below for where you can download both Etcher and the Ubuntu server image. In Etcher, select the Ubuntu server image you downloaded and confirm you've selected the SD card you want the image flashed onto. And then just press the flash button. Once it's complete, remove the SD card and insert it into your Raspberry Pi 4 and watch it boot up. So I do have my Raspberry Pi hooked up with a keyboard, monitor and power supply. On the first boot up, it will take a little bit longer than normal. Now, it will eventually ask you to log in with a username and password and both of these are Ubuntu in lowercase. Once you've entered these, it will ask you to reset your password. And then it will ask you to retype your password to confirm it. Then give it a few more minutes to sort itself out. Now, to get a desktop, we need to type sudo apt-get install xubuntu-desktop. Again, the details are in the description below. It'll start downloading and installing for about 20 seconds. It will then ask you to press Y for yes. Press Y and enter. Now, it's a pretty big file, so it will take a while. On my internet connection, it took about 15 minutes. So again, patience is the name of the game here. Now, when it does eventually download and install everything, you'll need to type in startx at the prompt you'll be prompted with a user login screen. Now the username is Ubuntu and the password is the password you changed it to earlier. And that's it guys, you're in. Now as you can see guys, the layout is fairly similar to anyone using a modern operating system. Here we've got our apps and if I just click on the Mozilla browser, it comes up. Fairly slick and straightforward so far. Let's take a quick look at today's news. Now you can see the browsing speed is acceptable. Oh and look, looks like someone's been a naughty boy. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, that's enough of that. Anyway guys, let's get back on track. Let's go and have a look at Snapcraft, which is the Ubuntu App Store, and it should come pre-installed in this version. If you go to your apps and scroll down, you should see the Snap Store icon. Just click on it and it will open up. Let's take a quick look around the App Store. So we've got our categories, and the first one I'm looking at is Games. Let's take a look at Super Tux Carts. I must say this App Store is better than I expected. It even comes with screenshots for the apps. Let's take a quick look at another game. I think that's MAME, the emulator. Sure enough. It is. So right there, you've got unlimited amount of games. Okay guys, so back to the main categories page. And you can see there's loads of categories, loads to choose from. And wait for it guys, there's more, as a famous comedian once said. So guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like, and please do consider subscribing for more great content to follow. And I'll see you in the next one.